Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am finally here with the Free Looks 1 palettes and the palettes I'm doing my Free Looks 1 palette with this time is the Flare palette from Ace Beauté. I never know how to say that and I always put up a voting card when I want you to vote on which palette I should do a Free Looks 1 palette with and now it is this one. And I will leave all the timestamps down in the description. If you maybe just want to see one of the looks or have the see the, have the little review, see little see the little review in the end. And yes, it's coming little review. But I thought that I can show you the palette now. So the palette looks like this, and it got fifteen shades. And I really really like this palette. And I it was so hard for me to decide what I wanted to do, but I think I know what I want to do. I want to try to use a shimmer in all of the looks. It's four shimmers in this palette. It's Biscotti, Mirage, Firefly and Bayberry. So yeah, I think we just get started with the first look. So I think for my first look that I will do a pretty simple look and I will start with we'll start with Mulberry and take it in my crease. Let's see how this goes. Use this shade before. I like it. I think it's maybe like a little bit darker than you maybe expect it to be, but I have nothing against that. This is like the purpley things I like. And for this look, I actually want to start with the halo eye. And I am now going in with Aubergine. And I really hope that this doesn't look too strange. I always swatch like a little bit on my hand. Before I'm starting to do a halo. Just to see if this is even possible. But I think... The color combo is okay, I really hope, and as you know, I'm not like a super big fan of purple at all, but yeah, just don't think it suits me, and I have never like liked purple in any other aspect, like, I have never liked purple, maybe it's just that. Okay, it's turning out to be a pretty small halo this time. But I like this purple, when I swatched it, it wasn't that good, but now when I'm putting it on my eyes, I think it is actually good. So like that. And then for my halo I am going in with Bayberry, this blue one. And at first I was like maybe I'm going to take Biscotti but I think this will be pretty cool. I hope. <laughs> what if this doesn't look good at all? I was a little bit like, okay, I don't like blue that much. I'm starting to like blue more and more. But I don't like purple, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to do the things that I don't like that much in the same look. And this is a little bit, I think maybe I should have gone in a bit of glitter glue on this. I think I can build it up though, but it's a little bit messy. I have like blue all over my eyelashes. But that is okay. If I maybe go in with 
I don't know if I want to take the blue over the purple or the purple over the blue. Because I don't know if this blue will stick onto the purple. I mean just with the brush that I took the purple. Just trying to blend the shades a little bit. Okay. How do I feel about this? I don't love it. Uh, if I... That would be lying if I said that I love it, but... I try to pack it on a little bit more. Why didn't I just go in with the glitter glue from the start? I don't know. Okay, I think I just go with this. And this blue is so messy. I got like specks all over. Okay, I think I will go like this. I am not super pleased. It's nothing like wrong with these shades. It's just that purple on me are not that good friends. So, okay, I will fix my base and then I come back and we do the under eyes together so yeah so okay time for the under eyes and I actually think I want to take pumpkin this really orange one just to like come into my comfort zone a little bit I will take this and have it under my eyes And this is really such a good orange. I I love this orange. I think I'll take it like in my corner as well. I think this goes pretty good at least. Okay, so I will put something in my wash line put on mascara and also a lippy and then I come back with the finished first look. Okay, so this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Altair Flash from Linda Holberg and on my lips I used Gemini from Jeffree Star and yeah, this is my first of three looks with the flare palette and I like the look. I liked it better when I took the orange underneath my eyes. I don't really know about the halo. Maybe it wasn't the best combo, but what's done is done. Yeah, this is my first look and if you want to see the other two looks, just keep on watching. So, it's time for the second look and first I was like, I don't want to film today because I had a shit day at work. But I was like, okay, I, I'm just doing this. So it's time for the second look with the flare palette from Ace Butai. And I think I know what I want to do. And I think I want to like concentrate in this corner today. Um, because I know what I want to do for my last look. So I will start with this shade and take it in my crease. My brush is somewhat clean, maybe. I like it. really need to wash my brushes, but like, when am I going to have time to do that? I don't know. So I will start with this one and take it in my whole crease. 
And as I said, I don't know if it was in the intro or in the first look, but I want to use at least one shimmer per look. So I'm going to use shimmer in this look as well, of course. So I'm just taking this in a crease and I like this color. I have had it in my crease before. No, I have not. But it works in the crease. Nothing wrong with it at all in the crease. So I'm just taking this and taking it pretty far in as I always do. And I want to do a pretty like simple look today. I at least think I haven't like decided completely. And I wanted to do it pretty matte. And like somewhat more on the toned down side. I'm saying that with like taking this in my crease but yeah. Okay, so I am starting with, or I'm taking now, Moss, this one, and put it on my outer corner. Yeah. And this is going to be a green look, as you maybe understand. But I don't know about this brush. Like, I really want to start to use some other brushes in my collection that I normally use. This is some brush from Real Techniques. Before Linda Holberg came into my life with her amazing brushes, Real Techniques was my absolute favorite blushes of all. Did I say blushes? Brushes. That's how tired I am. You know, like, I had this day at work when you just want to I'll leave the shit and just walk out of there, but mm, you cannot do that. And right now it's just so much at work. Or it's not much, but it's just chaos, and I'm not going to talk about work in this video. I'm sorry. Okay, I really, really like this so far. I will go in with the shade I had in my crease in the part that is left on my lid. And why did I drop it? Onto my face. Nobody knows. Maybe it... it how is this? I like can't decide. I like it I think but at the same time I don't know how this is looking. Maybe it's a pretty like toned down green. Is there even a thing? And right now it feels like I do greens all the time. I don't know what has happened to me. But it's like everything I do right now. Green, green, green. I think I really like this. I think though I want to do as I always do to like d deepen down the outer corner just because it feels like this is a little bit I want some more dimensions to this and brush how are you feeling today Sigma? are you feeling good? <laughs> it's now I don't know if I should go in with forest pine or acorn, maybe forest pine. 
shadows. No, look. It's a really deep green with like a hint of blue. Why do I swatch this, this like strangest angles? Can you see this? Maybe I actually want to go in with that. And now I'm going to have this color. Maybe it is a little bit more blue. I think I want to go in with this. Now I have taken in a lot of my brush, so I just do it. And we'll see how this is going to look. Does this look super? Does this take over? Maybe it does. That was not my intention. Fetch. I'm going back in with mask that I had on like most part of my lid and taking it over a little bit. And okay, what do we think about this? I actually think it's better with this forest pine on. Maybe I shouldn't take that much. Feels like I'm always doing that when I'm doing like something in my out of V. It feels like I'm always taking too much. Like always. Okay, I actually think that I really like this. I think I really do do it, so I will smudge a little bit here. I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I come back and we do the under eyes together. So time for base. Okay, for my under eye, I actually think I think I want to do something else. Or should I just maybe keep it? Like this, or how is or how is that looking? Can my okay? I think I actually will take this hazelnut that is really foily color. So I will take that under my on my lower lash and always tap the brush off. Because I do not want to have fallout. Yeah, I think this works pretty darn good. Okay, I like that. And I, as I said, I want to take something shimmer in all of the looks. So I think I will take biscotti i have no idea if this is going to be good with this look but i'm taking it i spray this because i don't want any fallouts okay now we'll see if this was a stupid idea with this I just need to be better to like do the eyeshadow under here I always like drag it down too far okay I will put on mascara and a lippy and then I come back with the finished second look so this is the finished second look I almost had third second uh, for my waterline I use dirty talk from Colourpop use that a lot and for my lips I used Brink from Colourpop that is a lipstick and yeah I really like this look I think this may be my favorite look of them all even though I haven't done the last one so I used actually I maybe pointed at something else than my finger I used Biscotti Biscuit 
biscotti. Biscotti, hazelnut, sherbet, moss, and forest pine. So yeah, this is the second look. I really like this look and if you want to see the last look and also a little review, just keep on watching. So it's time for the third and final look with the Ace Boutique Flare Palette. And I am going to do something, I think it's maybe pretty similar to my first impression, but also a look that I love and I am going to try to do like a red orange p poo explosion on my eyes because as you may know I love those kind of shades so I'm going to use um, at least these four maybe this one or maybe this one I haven't decided yet but I've already used this in one look but I haven't used these four and haven't used this and this yet Or have I used Atlantis? It feels like I have. I'm not sure. But again, okay, I'm going to start with cider and take it in my crease and take it in my whole crease. Yes. And this shade I love. And I really want this to be really orange and red like everywhere. So yeah. This look I have been most excited to do and I think this is going to be my favorite look. I really loved the last look though, number two, but at the same time this is totally up my alley. And just like that, do you see this amazing, amazing shade? Such a good shade. I, I just love it. Okay, so like that. And then I'm going to take a saffron and put it in, I think, half of my crease. I think just out here to deepen it down a little bit. Maybe I should not take, maybe I should take this brush instead. Do a little fast clean on it and just pop that into like maybe here or something. And this shade I also I really love. And I really love the spice saffron. If you didn't know that about me, now you know I like it's one of my favorite spices and I love to do I do like a lint lintel lintel lint lentils lentil soup with saffron mm. okay I don't know where I am in this video okay so like this I think like this I yesterday <laughs> when recording this Jessica was here and we didn't film anything we just hang out as friends because we are friends and we like agreed on just to hang out as friends and I <laughs> am so like pumped with energy after that and you know sometimes when you might eat a friend and everything just feels so good and you feel so happy and you can talk about things. It was like that and thank you Jessica for being my friend. I am so happy about that. Okay, no, why do I talk about this in this video? I don't know. And okay, I... <laughs> I just love this if I'm going to be honest. 
I really do. Now on my lid, I want to take these two. I at least think that has been my plan at least. Okay, I think that will look awesome on my eyelid. The one thing I don't know is if I want to cut my crease or not. I think I actually will cut my crease. Okay, I think I do it. So I will take NYX glitter glue and I will do a full cut crease. To really make the colors pop as much as they can. I usually don't, when I'm doing like an all shimmer lid, I usually don't do a cut crease because I don't feel it's necessary. Okay. I'm just going to do it and I Kind of holding my crease. Maybe I'm doing a little bit of free handing. And why do I try to talk to you while I'm doing this? Something like that. And I want to put the shimmery red out here where I have the red in my crease and then take the orange shimmer where I have the cider. So I start with the red. And pack it on here. Oh. And this for some for some reason when I'm doing a cat crease I always feel a little bit stressed when I'm packing on on the sticky base, but at the same time it's not going to dry super fast. So I don't know why I feel so stressed, but I just do. Now I'm going in with the orange and here. And oh. This orange firefly, wait, sorry, boy. This firefly is so amazing. And the red one, Mirage also quite amazing okay I don't really know how I feel about this combo I don't know if I maybe would I think I would should have taken pumpkin in here this orange but I could do it now so I take a little bit of pumpkin and take it in the crease where I put the firefly okay so if you're going to recreate this look just take pumpkin before you cut the crease. I think this works. I think this looks better so it's like shimmers, the orange shimmer, the orange matte and then this cider shade so it's like out here it's red shimmer, red matte and then the cider shade. I think this looks better actually. Just going to take a little bit of the red shimmer on the brush again and take it a little bit on the orange shimmer just to fix the blend. And okay, this like screams my name. So I will stop staring at myself, fix the cut crease on the other side. I don't think you 
you don't need to see it because I am not going to be that concentrated when I do it and talk at the same time. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and also figure out if I want to do like a whole orange and red eye or if I want to do something other to my lower lash. I don't know yet, so I will fix that. Do the cut crease on this eye. And I will go in with the orange pumpkin first, so I'm not doing like on this eye. Uh, so I will fix that, do my base my brows, and then I come back and we complete this third look. Okay, so I have done some uh, thinking and what I want to do with my under eyes. And I think I would just go with the orange and red theme because it's the best I know. So on my under eyes I will first start with cider and then take pumpkin. Uh, closest to my lash line just to like have an all Lisa look so I start with cider and I'm really really going to smoke this out or at least try I'm not good at smoking things out underneath my eyes because it feels like I've taken it too far but then when I like <laughs> editing the video I'm like I could have taken it so much further and then I'm just going in with the pumpkin closest to my lashes and also like a little bit out here to connect and when I'm doing my under eyes I am tapping off like crazy because I don't want to risk to have any fallouts at all so I rather have like too little color on my brush and just go over a few times more than to risk having fallouts That is just how I do it. Okay, I think I just will go in with saffron and take it just a little bit out here just to have a little bit like red just on my outer corner. I think I also will go in with cider more like yellow one and take it out here as well like that I feel totally at home in this look so I will put something in my waterline take a lipstick to this put on some mascara and then I come back with a third look with this free looks one palette so this is the finished look for my waterline I used Colourpop Oont and for my lips I used a new one I used one from NYX, it's the Candy Slick in Your Breaker. Yeah, and I don't know, it feels a little bit strange on the lips. I don't know what this is, actually glowy lip color. Okay. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a gloss. But it's a really high cover gloss, but I I don't know, I have heard of people really like them and when they were selling some of these out on H&M for half off, so I, I bought two of them and I don't know, it feels like it's, it really, I can really feel it on my lips. But I'm not like used to this sticky things. Okay, <laughs> I was not going to talk about this one. So yeah, this is my third and the finished look for this Free Looks One palette with the Flare palette. Free Looks One? Free, pal Free Looks One palette, did I say that? I'm like all over. This is my third look with the Flare palette from Ace Beauty and yes, this is my favorite look. 
And uh, yeah, I still really like this palette. I I think all of the shades are good. I have used all of the shades. I can't remember if I have used them all in this in this free looks one palette. I don't know, but I have used all of the shades at least. And we can start maybe with the shimmers. It is four shimmers in this one. So it's these two, this one and this one. They are amazing. They work super good without any glitter glue. They work amazing with glitter glue. These two are my favorites, but that is just like because of the color. Uh, the formula on them are so great all of them some of the shadows are a little bit drier if you swatch them and at least this forest pine is pretty dry and this atlantis is also pretty dry and i think it's aubergine and maybe mulberry as well but they work really good on the eyes it's nothing like they just feel dry to touch and to swatch but it's no problems like blending them out or getting them to stick or blend together with something else so <laughs> you shouldn't be worried about that and I know that some people don't like the Ace Bute formula and I can honestly I don't know why because I have this one and the Oceanic palette and I love both of them so much they are so so good and if this is your colors I mean like this suits the most it's a really versatile palette I think and that is also what I'm trying to show in my free looks one palette so like in this one I did the purple and blue look I did the green look and now the red and orange and I really want to show what you can do with this I don't want to do like crazy color combination because I want to show what you're able to do with this one I hope you like that I do that I don't know if that is maybe like the boring and obvious thing but it's like I like to do that because I really want to show you what this palette is all about does that make any sense I really hope it does but yeah I can really recommend this it is a beautiful palette I like the size of it it's still 15 shades but I don't think it's too big and it got a great mirror there you can see my lamp up in the ceiling. Uh, it's a really good size and I like this. I like when you are going, when you can bend a palette because I like to hold it like this when I'm showing it and if I want to take a photo of it, it's also easier. I really like it. It's I like the colors, I like the packaging, I like everything about this. Maybe I would want it like shimmer green in, the, in this one as well. But yeah, I can really recommend this palette. I really like it. I am so happy that I bought it. And if you like the color story and if you want to try Ace Bouche, I think this may be the palette to go because it is so versatile and you can try a lot of different colors. So yeah, that was all for this free looks one palette. I really hope you liked it and please tell me which one was your favorite. For me, it is definitely this one. I <laughs> love to go back to my roots. Um, this is my absolute favorite thing to do. I love these colors and that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you next one. Bye!